And this is Jeremy Horn from the USA. A man with a vast experience, having fought widely on the circuit in the USA and of course also in Japan. He's fought in pride. A very highly skilled technician. Not a man you will see um, in lots Ladies of and gentlemen, all the way from the USA, bloody the UFC and Brian gory Federer. battles, but Jeremy a man who always is able Boy. to um, exploit the deficiencies in techniques of his opponents. But then again, he has to fight tonight another very strong submission wrestler. This man, Khalid Arab from the Golden Glory team. Khalid Faust Arab. A man who fights as well in K1, kickboxing, as well as, of course, in the uh, various submission wrestling tournaments all over the world. Ladies, being coached by Core Hammers and, of course, the famous below, Heath Herring. The IMA mixed fight champion of Europe, Khalid the Faust Arab. Just imagine with sparring partners like Heath Herring, for example, Sam Schild, you can imagine that... Um, you're well prepared for a battle like this. Now, do not be um, deceived by the relatively innocent face that we have with Jeremy Horn. He is not your typical um, bloodthirsty battler. Horn looks like an average college boy, but is a tremendously well uh, trained technician. Here you have Khalid Arab, a German fighter from Moroccan descendancy, training in Holland. So truly to uh, once again see the international openings we have in this sport. With the red gloves, Khalid Defaust Arab from Germany, fighting for the Golden Glory team and the American opponent in blue, Jeremy Horn, going for the takedown right away, shooting at the legs. But of course, Arab knows what to do. In the guard of Arab, closed guard, both ankles locked. And of course, for those people who are not really um, into this sort of fighting, even from the ground, lying on your back, there are many, many ways you can submit your opponent. You can, and they're going for the neck crank. Very dangerous technique there by Jeremy Horn, drawing the, uh, the, the neck vertebrae to him. But Arab being able to evade that technique by Jeremy Horn. Now the problem, of course, is when you have two grapplers, like these two, most of the fight uh, will probably take place on the mat, on the ground. Now for audiences that are well versed into this kind of fighting, that's okay, no problem. But this was good, good work there by Arab. Punching. Knees by Jeremy Horn. But of course, as I said, for audiences that really do not really appreciate the groundwork, the grappling on the floor, it can sometimes be kind of boring. But if you really look carefully, you can see that these two are really measuring up each other's capacities, really trying to find a way to open up. They both know what to do. They both know what can be done by the one on top or on the bottom. Jeremy Horn going for the side mount, trying to free his leg, his left leg, which is between the legs of Khalid Arab, who's lying below him. And once he can do that, he can go to the side mount and maybe do some more damage there. Right now, Khalid Arab is able to neutralize the attacks of uh, Jeremy Horn. And of course, it takes some time to get the position you want to. Right, a nice turnover. Yeah. 
Now uh, Horn has the um, side mount. And it's up to Arab to make a reversal there. He really hangs on to those legs. And now he has side mount. From there, maybe he can do something more. But then again, um, you can see the way Arab is holding the head tight to him. This is, this is like a strategic game of chess, what they're playing there. A physical game of chess. Looking for the openings and of course you have to be very, very well versed into this kind of game if you want to know exactly, just by feeling, what can I tell you. Almost reversal there by Khalid Arab, but you can see the versatility of uh, Jeremy Horn there. Keeping his body pinned on his opponents, keeping his body weight equally um, divided there, a good reversal by Khalid Arab into the close guard of Jeremy Horn. But these two are so, are so technical, it's almost difficult to see what can happen there. Punches there, raining down now in the face of uh, Jeremy Horn. Khalid Arab trying everything to get the necessary room to throw his punches. Now going for the neck crank, pulling the neck to him, giving the pressure to the neck vertebrae. And once again, see what Jeremy Horn is doing. Making his, rolling his body up and therefore making and uh, neutralizing the uh, effect of the technique of Arab. Horn on the floor, going for the legs, shooting for the legs. Arab, making sure this doesn't happen. It's going to and fro of these two. Arab decides to resume fighting standing up. Undoubtedly, Arab is the better fighter standing up. Horn wants to go to the floor. He is, uh, has a extensive wrestling background. You hear the, whisp the whistling of the um, Dutch crowd here. I don't think that's right. I think it becomes, as I said, a game of chess, physical chess here. But of course, then you have to know what's going on there. Now, from this position, it is difficult for either of them to do something. Because you can see that Khalid Arab knows how to defend himself in this position and that even though he's on top, Horn can't do very much. You will see that immediately Horn will dive, will shoot again to the legs of Arab. The moment the, moment the uh, possibility is there, he goes for the legs. And Arab will do well to stand up. There he goes. Well done, well escaped. You see how he, both legs were uh, kicked backwards by Arab so that Horn couldn't reach them. Punches, punches there from Arab once again, going with the legs. And once again, Arab shows that there is no possibility there. But he's down again. In between the two legs of Arab. Well, like this, the fight can go on for a long time. I've seen Arab train at the Golden Glory Gym. I've seen him train with Heath Herring, with Gilbert Eiffel. I've seen him train with Sam Schild. All those great champions that are fighting in pride so regularly. So um, I don't think there's much Horn can, can get here. This way. Arab has also been fighting in K1. Although he is rather small for a heavyweight. He's not so tall. There he goes, shooting for the legs. But what can he do there? That, of course, is the question. I mean, um, he's been trying to do this technique over and over again. But whenever he gets up down, there's no follow-up. And that's partly because Arap is 
clever enough to make sure that nothing happens there. And that's of course a compliment for the uh, pupil of uh, Kurt Hamilton and Heath Herring. Because Horn is a very decent fighter. A good champion. But of course, yes, understandably, people are starting to whistle. Well, styles make fights. And these two styles don't mix, obviously. And this takes lots of energy. It looks like, though, they're resting. But it is, takes a tremendous effort because the slightest mistake can lead to reversal, can lead to the one lying on the bottom, make a turn. The slightest feeling of imbalance will result into reversal and that's nothing you don't want. Once you're on top, you will want to start punching. But this, of course, is exactly the thing they've been training for. All those hours in the gym, you simulate, you simulate um, situations exactly like this. What to do, what not to do. Uh, different ways of striking, different ways of reversing them. And even though it's, um, it's very tiring, it is something you must train. Because every fighter will, once in a while, end up in a position like this. There's no other possibility it will happen. That's what fighting, that's what submission wrestling is all about. And then, of course, you will have to know what to do now. This is dangerous, but Arab was doing this, stretching out his arm, because it could easily lead to an armbar. On the other hand, um, I assume that Arab is technical enough to know that um, this might happen, especially it's dangerous with a uh, strong fighter like Jeremy Horn. Trying to reverse the situation there, Arab, but he doesn't want to end up on his stomach because that's easily result to a back mount and then of course all sorts of trouble might uh, come from there. And the fight's being resumed standing up. Now it's... Oh, what a wonderful punch there by Arab. Great uppercut there and Horn walked right into it. And once again, you can see the tenacity with which Horn is going at it, going for it, even though he was hit square in the face by this right uppercut by Khalid uh, Arab, the man lying on his back now. And it shows that both are of extreme high quality fighters. But this takes, this saps the energy out of your body. Having somebody on top of you and at the same time, even when you're on top, you still have to work because you're trying to maneuver your opponent in such a way that you can hit him. Now knees by Horn, but to no avail. They should be reaching his head, not the arm. And that's what makes mixed martial arts such a tremendous spectacle because you know exactly that even the slightest mistake can lead to a reversal and then you might be the one lying with your back on the, on the floor. Because this is a side mount where many things could happen if you were not such a well-trained fighter as Arab is. Arab knows what to do. You can see that the many, many hours of training show their worth now. Of course, one thing you don't want to do is panic. Once you're on, lying on your back, you should know how to fight, what to do. And there are thousands of techniques of adapting to the situation. And that's exactly what Arab is doing. He's taking his rest, he's breathing carefully, making sure not to become too tired. And even though the crowd is booing, you can see that at no moment Khalid Arab is panicking. He knows that if he's like this, if he keeps his head clear, if he keeps his defense tight, he knows where the punches are coming from, that he can block most of the uh, techniques that Jeremy Horn could want to throw in. Now he goes up in a full mount position again. 
And I tell you, this is very difficult what Alap is doing. You can see that many, many hours of training have gone into this. Always trying to check the arms, the arms that of Jeremy Horn, which was he tries to punch. Breathing carefully, looking all the time at your opponent, even taking the risk of getting a punch. Never pushing away your face, always keeping in contact with your opponent. And nothing really, um, no extensive damage is being done here. The thing is, the horn knows that standing up, he probably is not the same fighter as Arab is. Arab is probably a much better kickboxer or tie boxer than Horn is. On the other hand, on the floor, in this form of submission wrestling, which we're doing right now, and that's difficult there. You saw that Arab turned, almost ending up um, on his belly. Now, you don't want to be there. Not with a fight like Jeremy Horn. You prefer watching him, seeing what, he, what he's doing, watching his hands. Choked, you could very easily be choked out there. Now, of course, for the audience, this is a boring spectacle because they don't see what we see here on the camera. And there, there's a possibility there. You can have a, 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 a triangle choke there. Now, there's a good possibility for for the American to use the arm triangle choke, using all his body weight there, using the bicep and the opponent's shoulder. No, nothing happens there. Because if you can um, close off the carotid artery, the main artery in your neck, then of course it will re result to uh, unconsciousness. Once again, we have to be amazed at the calmness, at the uh, cool-headedness of Khalid Arab, who never panics, no matter what situation he is in. And that's it. End of the fight. And that will mean go to the scorecards and see what the judges have decided. Here he is, Khalid Arab, the man who was on his back most of the time, but at the same time, the man who was um, always making sure that this man, Horn, couldn't do anything. Jeremy Horn, great ignition, good submission wrestler. And then again, well, we'll see. We'll see. Kohamas, trainer of Khalid Arab. Always surrounded by the immense, popular and versatile Golden Glory members. Heath Herring, famous Pride fighter, number two of Pride, also in the corner of Arab. It was a difficult fight for both. They were not well matched. Rostelli, both too much of a wrestler. This is Rusty Rostelli, one of the uh, famous entertainer in Holland with his hypnotism act. Okay, vecht is in the middle of the ring. We have a winner. We have a winner. De van Futurola, iemand van Futurola, jongens. Graag even naar de ring toe voor de prijsverdrijving. Hartstikke bedankt. Peter, fijn dat je er bent. Dames en heren, we hebben de winnaar, de man in de blauw, Jeremy Horn. Jeremy Horn, the winner in this fight. And obviously, um, the